Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another edition of HRD 633. This video will be for week number four, which, as you know, our weeks start on Monday. So right now it's Saturday. You have a couple more days to do your work if you haven't already done it for week number three. And then on Monday, we officially start with we, we start in on week number four. So I, I want to thank you for the effort that everybody's been putting in, and I appreciate that. Um, hope everybody's warm. I know not all of our class live in Maine, but the Northeast is pretty cold. I took my dog out this morning, and it was minus 14 in Topsom, which is, for those that don't know, about oh, 10 miles north of L.L. Beans in Freeport. And uh, and the wind was kind of blowing, so I came in, saw the news, and it, it was like minus 30 wind chill, which, you know, that's that's pretty cold, even for by Maine standards. So I hope everybody's warm and tucked in and kind of a perfect day to do schoolwork. So let's get to week number four. And week number four is really a continuation of week number three. And I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time on the video this week. Uh, because everybody is busy, and we, I covered some of this in last week's video, but I wanted to just re reiterate a couple of things. In week number three, we started we started the exploration of the human resource frame, and so now we are in week number four, and we are doing just that. We, for those that haven't, these are the the readings I'd like everybody to read. Week number four, if you can see, everything is visible now. And I mentioned last week the discussion forum. So we do have group discussion forums. I'd like everybody, you just click on this and it will take you right to your own discussion forums. I'd like to ask some something of every one of the group. If, if you did not um, facilitate last week, and I'd like to, if you could shoot me an email and letting me know, or baby, let's, let me change this around. The first post, if you are going to facilitate your group discussion, I'd like you to put that right into your group work. It could be the first thing. All you have to say is, you know, Kevin, uh, this is me. You know, I am going to facilitate our group work this week or our volunteer just do that as a discussion post, just like you would do a post. Just so I know, I can come in and I can see who has volunteered to do that. So as in the as in the first group discussion that we had in week number two, you go into the discussion, you hit it, it automatically takes you to your group. And when you get there, hopefully I see right out of the shoot, this is me, Kevin, you know, I see your name and you say I volunteer to be the discussion leader for our group come into that and then you have the prompts as always just one thing i would like i would like to ask the discussion leaders for this week at the very end if you could just sum up briefly sum up the discussions that you had i will take that information and post it for the entire class so once again for the person that is the discussion leader the volunteer for this week I'd like you to do a separate post, just summarizing, briefly summarizing um, each one of these questions and what your group, you know, kind of what, what were some of the big ideas or questions that came out for each, each one of these prompts, prompt one, two, or three. So in the meantime, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm here to help. I look forward to seeing everybody online this week. And if you are snowmobiling today in Maine, bundle up. You know, the conditions might be good, but, you know, you go to Rangeley and you go into northern Maine and it is, uh, you know, 50 below zero. So enjoy. Hope you have a good week. And if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm here to help. Bye, everybody.